Amen. Within this video, I'll be giving you some very clutch jump shots for every build, every position, every archetype, every play style, man. Very new, different type of jump shots. Low three balls, high three balls. And I'm going to be giving you all the best tips to become a successful shooter in this random ass. 101 percent and and i shoot crazy even though i noticed that the game is broken okay and look you gonna want to watch this vid because playing 2k and not being able to shoot means you're not gonna enjoy the game at all bro like literally all y'all randoms that play all y'all negative win percents y'all get on okay i play with randoms a lot bro y'all get on and you're missing you can only run to the rim and hold square and you're barely making those guys you're not gonna have a lot of fun okay you have to learn to shoot so it makes people respect your shot so you can have easier drives bada bing bada bang you have to learn to shoot before you play the game bro okay it's the iso god sensei the greatest okay in existence now look before we get into the vid y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new help me hit 281k we're like 40 subscribers away and make sure you hit that goddamn like button help me get 100 likes within the first hour so i can get pushed to the algorithm help young swan grow sleep before i get into all the jump shots i want to show y'all this right get your lethal hot zones okay 2k lab did a test right you have to at least get your hot spots before you play online get your hot spots bro it will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them. Get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else. But, you know. But look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. But listen up, yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball... Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K. And there's, so, there's different latency in so many different modes. So it's kind of hard, you know, you know, but it's still easy, right? You just got to get used to it. You know, you got to have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. Throws you off. It's ridiculous. When I be playing rec, all I hear old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. Now look, your visual cue. I like release. I say use release or push. They say release is very late and they're saying push is late. Um, I be using release and i i like it they saying this is uh, whatever but whatever your timing it just make sure you put it on push or release and then let, let me know how you feel about it. this is supposed to be very early this is supposed to be early this is supposed to be late this is supposed to be very late now firstly it's kyle corver okay it's a fast jump shot for a big type of iso build you know it's a good jump shot man a lot of people aren't rocking this okay you want to be different you want to try something new this is the one for you now look if you're struggling with shooting for all of these jump shots bro you want to knock down your speed you want to manipulate your speed you want to tick this down your release speed okay this is how you become more consistent find a base you like you knock the speed, bro. Your speed don't really matter unless you're playing comp people. And even then, it barely matters, dog. Because people leave you open, okay? They leave you open. 
So you have to find a shot you can hit with no matter what. That's what matters the most in this shooting game, dog. Now this is a spot up jump shot or an iso build jump shot, okay? Now you can manipulate being able to use it with a little lower three point or midi, but the Prince base is good for locks, power forwards, iso builds, and spot ups. It's still good this year, okay? Test it out, let me know what you think, man. Now let me show y'all some big build jump shots from the Discord real quick, man. Cause you know, I don't have a 610 plus build. So, you know, they sent me some, you know, Kevin Durant release. This is when you got like a big, you know, you gotta be at least 610 plus for this hoe, right? But you gotta have an 86 midi or a three point to even be able to use this. Of course you could manipulate it to use it on lower, but KD base is one of the best bases in the game. Okay, definitely if you 6'10 plus and you got like a shot on you, you put that KD on, bro. Now look, the Isaac, you know, also another build, you gotta have a, you know, decentness mid-range and uh, three-point on, you know, the 82, right? But people are making bigger builds that, you know, have a higher uh, shooting rate and stats. And this is a nice one right here, you know, this Isaiah. Now this Dwight, all you need is a 77, okay? It's a slower jump shot. You know, he rocked this, man. These are all consistent jump shots for the bigger builds, man. This is another very fast jump shot. It got a nice cue. You know, nice immunity. It's, it's, it's a decent jump shot. It's for the uh, bigger ISO builds, you know. You could use it for other stuff, but, you know. Nice, nice little shot, giving y'all something different. Now, here is a spot-up jump shot, okay? You only need a 79 midi or three-point. Now, you can make it like 78 or even lower if you tweak the jump shot, right? This is a very consistent spot up jump shot, even for ISO builds that have a lower three. It's good for locks and power forwards also, bro, okay? Now the JT throw, look, okay? Lower lower uh, shot, all you need is a 77. You could tweak it if you need it to be lower, you feel me? Now look, here are some different jump shot bases that I'm finna show you for small guard builds. Y'all let me know if y'all still a small guard build down below this is a different type of jump shots they these seem a little little consistent man you know you check it out hold on here's the here's the blender these holes is pretty decent you know you, it's, you're going for the consistency it got nice release point all that and you know and it's it's for if you have a lower you know if you can't get the other bases and stuff so 84 okay all you need is an 84 midi or three point we got the damn malcolm okay now, this is for 88, okay? All you need is an 88 midi, 88 three-point. It's good all around, though. You feel me? Still, this is kind of lower on a PG. And, yeah, so if you, if you need a little lower, this is the base for you. You could tweak it, you know, get it to, to how you want. Skill boost. I know they're scamming us. But if you want to be able to shoot, <laughs> jump shot boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also, even better, Gatorade, okay? Um, you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took gym rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're going to get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do. Correct. Very important. Your Gatorade is going to help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. Y'all ain't never thought about that, huh? Get your hot zone, okay? Get your hot zones. In my career, it will change your life. Get your hot zones. A lot of y'all can't shoot. You don't have hot zones. In every 2K, you don't have your hot zones. You struggle to shoot. Have your hot zones plus your badges. You'll be Gucci. Now, one more thing. In every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback. You could turn off everything. If you like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm gonna keep it on, but they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just wanna test this out, this is something you could- Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen if y'all wanna see my reaction to Tyceno wagering that goddamn toxic post hooking, man. Dude, well, hey, hey, here we go again. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, 
Everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.